welcome and thank you for coming. It's a great turnout uh, and that's absolutely great for a fans forum. Believe it or not, contrary to what some people think, we quite like you being here talking about our football club, <laughs> our football club. Um, so it's a seven o'clock start. Shahid will be on in a minute, but there are um, James from the foundation. Is he all right, James? There he is. He's just waiting. Stand up, James. There you go. So James is a new foundation man. Little round of applause. If you need to speak. To him. I'm trying to embarrass you, James, but if you need to speak to anything regarding the foundation, he's here. We've got members of Supporters Club here. Can you raise your hands? We've got about five or six, I think, members of Supporters Club. So if you want to join the Supporters Club tonight, or you want to join in with a shot, because it's less than the price of a pint, <laughs> and there's about five or six winners in here, I can tell, so it's worth joining, yeah? So get yourself in with a shot. You can see those people throughout the evening. Uh, but after Shahid, we're going to have Waits, who are going to talk to you about the development. Uh, and then we're going to have some questions, and I'll come on to the questions in a minute. Around about 8 o'clock, we're going to have a break. 8.15, quite sharp. We'll try and start again with Tommy, and we'll talk football. And we'll have some questions from the floor. But we're going to finish at 9.30. Now, the last time we done a forum, we, asked, we spoke and actually mentioned every single question. And it was tedious, because we got accused about hiding questions or not not you know vetting them but tonight we will put a stop to the questions but the people will be here after our past nine in terms of the football you might be able to speak to or you can email us and we'll try and answer your questions there'll also be a portal opened up on the development and any questions that don't get asked tonight can be asked by the portal and will be answered that way <coughs> so there's no skullduggery but we've only got a limited time question so just so that we're all clear I also will try and stop the conversation questions what about this but what about that but what about that when one person asks about eight questions in a row so don't know about me we're just trying to make the evening flow uh, fluently I think you're in for an exciting time so that's a bit of the doom and gloom and all the uh, misery is out of the way they've got a fantastic new manager that's given us all a little bit of a lift up I, I think the season tickets are, are up uh, and we're going to be talking about our development, so I think you're going to be in for an exciting night. So, without any further ado, um, over to the boss, Shahina. Thank you. Can, can everybody hear me? No. You'll hear about me in this East Bank anyway, but never mind. Can you hear me now, yeah? yeah. yeah. Well, welcome, everybody, just to echo. What Mark said, great turnout. It's, um, I think this is the, the first forum we had in about two, two years or something like that, since obviously we had challenging times with COVID and everything else. So it's great to see everybody here. I'm pretty certain that most of you here to, is the life changing and the change that the football club has got, the development, and that's, I, I, I visit that why most of you are here, but who knows? So, um, so welcome. Um, look, before I you know, go, go any further, I want to, obviously we've got Waits here, we've got David Pinchley there who will be doing the presentation, we've got Fuse, uh, which is David Hughes, but he's just, just overseen uh, on, on certain things, but he, he won't be talking. We've got Carly here, who's, who, who some of you might have spoken to, just sort of engagement, but Carly is, our, uh, is the, the communication person um, that, that, that was working on the development and, and the engagement on that side. And we've got Mark and Alan from Holmes Miller who will be, who have designed the stadium and we'll go through that and they'll be talking there. But also, um, as, as Mark said, I want to sort of, from a football point of view, and other people want to welcome, obviously Terry, he, he's over here. We've got Richard, um, um, he's on holidays, um, but he's not here. But Tommy, Hugo, and um, I think Jamie is here as well, somewhere, wherever they are, Hugo. <coughs> so if you want to stand up there, then you sort of back and start with Tommy. I think Tommy's having something to eat there, so I remember what you will. <laughs> you will oh, no, Tommy's there. So they're all at the back there, so we've got we've no seats anymore. Before we, we wanted to sit where we wanted in the fans forum, but now we have only seats. So uh, thank you very much. Um, I think it's also, um, as I say, we've not had a fans forum in a while, but there's, there's been some changes, as you know, uh, uh, and you heard that uh, class caterers, uh, third generation Clark caterers in Aldershot have decided the fourth class caterer, uh, Harry, he doesn't want to become a caterer, he wants to become a pilot. So I think they're now stopping 
Um, they're actually finishing on the, the catering side, but we've got a great replacement who's worked with them, so you, know, you won't probably see um, much difference going on in there, but the bars will be still run by um, Andrew, wherever he is, and, uh, and take your head over the back, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, um, so, yeah, so, um, it's, it's a joke we have with him because we smack him with a potato. So, um, um, anyway, so, also we had um, uh, Lewis starting the lead of the, the, the last year, resigned and moved on, so we want to thank them. Uh, so, and from personally for myself, I want to thank um, the board, the staff, the volunteers, clearly the supporters, and our, our sponsors. So, for, for your continuous support, so th thank, thank you very much. Um, so as I said earlier on, um, uh, we've had since the last COVID about three managers um, in, in that time. Uh, but um, as you know, the government had three prime ministers in, in, in one year, so we can't, we can't all that be uh, that, that bad. Um, from um, from a national league point of view, um, as you can see, this league is getting tougher, tougher, tougher all the time. Um, but the good news is that um, last year, over, over 2.1 or 2.2 .2 million people were spectators watching league, our league, league North and South. So actually, 74 club, over 2.2, I think, or 2.3, something like that. That's how many million people watched, spectators came to watch. So that, that is, you know, just going up and up. Also, give you stats, I know Wrexham aren't in it and Ross County aren't in it. But uh, when Arsenal played Liverpool, more tweets were about Wrexham and Notts County globally than it was about Liverpool and Arsenal on that same day. <laughs> so the power of actually the media and what's been what's been done by Wrexham, you know, the idea that's what they've done. We wish them luck, but they have changed it. Obviously, the streaming was very very successful. So, and from from a national point of view, point of view, as I said, on the board of national league. Actually, it's a you know one is a great exposure, but secondly, it's got more commercial income coming through. So you know we they go with our blessing. So uh, nobody other people have more chance here. Um, as you know, last year we also had the founding members in our league, like in Notts County. You also had um, a Premier League team in there that was in the Premier League, Oldham. Also, you had two teams that were in our league that. Were in championship about 10, 11 years ago, Yeovil and um, Scunthorpe, and now they're playing regional football. And it is, it's a tough, tough league. You know, so like we keep mashing ourselves, and I understand it how tough it is here. But um, you know, it's, it's it's very, very demanding, as I said. And, and you've got more teams coming down that's coming with more money. Your team coming up with money. So look, it's it's. I'm not trying to be doom and gloom, but I'm just saying it's a very, very challenging time, time, time for everybody at this level. But I also think it's a great opportunity for us, um, and I think as Mark Lou we've got great managers, great backroom staff, and you know, no pressure on Tommy, but uh, we're expecting a lot, mate. <laughs> um, um, so, so, so what we, you know, so, for, so I've been involved ten years roughly 120 months and you know it's again when it was in administration coming out of administration the challenge we had when, when we were coming out there but unlike some clubs you know and people ask me what's your success and i have to say i think making sure the staff salaries or all, all salaries the pay my and vat are paid on time that to me i, I know people might not might not agree with that or disagree that whatever their opinions are but we always pay on, on, on time and that's that's something that is very 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 proud of clearly we'd like to win a lot more games but but it's also making sure it's sustainable so um, and, and again we want to thank our suppliers because they don't always necessarily get paid on the day like salaries and PAY and VAT but they do get paid and then we have not not paid anybody so that's that's also very important um, and you know, we, under, as Mark mentioned, sports club, we were really, really working hard with the sports club. Um, and I think yeah, there's great 
buzz around there with regular meetings. We've got regular meetings with all, all the time, what, we, what we're trying to do together. So I think that, that that's, that's also very, very important. Uh, one of the things that's come out of the league is um, there's, there's a, this came out DCMS and uh, engagement that changing the way the league, national league works. And one of the things that we're very, very focused on is actually having a youth forum and again having the youth having a, a voice. So I think that's something that we discussed with, uh, uh, with the supporters club and hopefully you know, that, that is starting because they, they are our, our future. So we, we want to make sure that uh, we, we get re-engaged with those. Um, sadly, we have had some issues last year and this, this year some of the uh, sort of, apart from antisocial behaviour, there was um, objects thrown on the ground, there's fake fires, you know, there's flares. Um, we can't mention the name, but those, 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 those have been dealt by the safety officer and people have had their, had their banning orders. So again, we would, would not tolerate any kind of antisocial behaviour. So, so the dealing with it, we can't publish the name because that's, it's, we haven't, it's illegal, I'm sure something's illegal, you know, we're not going to publish those names, but they, they have been dealt with. Um, the one incident which was really nasty was the one at, against Woking where the brick was thrown across for a group of um, died at hospital with broken foot. That, that is a real life, um, I would say, matter that's still very much being dealt with the police and we can't really comment any more on that. But, you know, we want to be, you know, we want to encourage loyal you know, supporters, fantastic supporters, but also we just need to make sure that we deal with the, all the anti-social behaviour and kind of discriminations and that sort of stuff. So it's very, very important that, that we look, look after. That's a very, very, very small minority. And I think what you'll also find is that uh, this one just here, there, there's a there's a, this age group that's between 16 to 18, not just this level, all, all levels football. And this, there seems to be a bit of a shift that the police and the authorities are trying to deal with. So. So where are we? So, well, so two years ago, last one, we did promise five, you know, sort of five year plan, which was debt free by 2025, state in development, and football league. And what I said was, if you can deliver two of those three things, you know, you've done all right. So that's where we still, we are still working on, and that's, that's still on. Um, so, so before I pass on to, David from way to go through uh, his beer. Um, what I'd like you to do, and the time scale, David, what I'd like you to do, uh, I'd like you to listen to David, or particularly Mark and Alan, uh, of the challenges we had to get to get where we are to where we are today. Um, bear in mind that the land is owned by um, the authority. Um, we are the tenants. Um, and I, I can tell you, 10 years ago, myself and uh, John Lefman was here, went to the council, and in 2014 they said, look, we are on a ticking time bomb, and unless you start doing something here, there won't be a football club in 10 years' time, when the lease about to run out, because it's, it's not just fit for purpose. And another example, would be that if you walked up there, there's another, Water pipe leak down by the Memorial yeah. Garden. So that's three leaks in three years, and a gas leak four years ago. So you know it's and then you know giving hot water and water doesn't bring the centre forward. It always gives you a bit hot water. So we just want to make sure that that gets there. Um, and I suppose the thing that we, we talked about was um, this land actually belongs to, it's taxpayer's land, so you obviously they have to make sure that they're going through all the right processes. And I really want to thank, you know, Russianborough Council, particularly the officers and the politicians, and I want to say all politicians, I mean, all cross party politicians who, who have enabled us to make sure we can start doing something here, because the council doesn't have the money, so it's actually how do you generate revenue from a piece of land that's part of this land block, um, Part of it has got some carbon on, carbon on it, but I think that's what's taken. I mean, people might be frustrated, but it's taken quite a lot of time. But when you look at the challenge we had, to the position where we are, I hope that you feel that we've achieved something to it, what the condition, the situation we are. And I think 
I fully understand it because you really want it as uh, one of those that says shot square and says this is the spade and the donkey jacket he won't, he, won't, he won't believe it's happening but trust me it's happening hopefully when David tells you and then it shares what they're going on um, hopefully you start believing it there's some challenges and constraints but our remit was make sure we build a stadium that actually can generate us revenue can make sure it's not soulless ground because that's the most important thing we want the you know like solid plastic thing. we want to and also have our identity um and the identity is east back how we deal with you know it's, uh, that's the iconic thing and we, we've got to make sure but it's against weighing up the options again obviously making sure that we got the commercial side because that's the most important thing is a commercial revenue coming in just to, you know to make sure we pay to get the, the budget we need to increase going forward um, thank you so much for listening. Um, it's not a lot to say after two years, but uh, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm available to talk to anybody. Uh, everyone's got my email address, anybody give my email address, anybody wants to meet me, happy to meet anybody to answer the question. Thank you. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.